and we are at it again over here trying to gather some food which is fishing that's a bone bridge in the distance and it's a beautiful day out there the sun shining the water is nice and calm there's a couple people fishing over on the other side of the canal and you can see that marking on the rocks over there how low the tide has dropped so far we've been out here for about an hour and a half and no action as yet but that's all part of fishing so you better pack your patience and enjoy the tranquility of nature the people that were to our left and to our right they're all gone now no one caught a fish i saw someone over that sign caught a schoolie and a schoolie is for those of you that don't know a juvenile striped bass and obviously it's not a legal size of fish that can be kept so it went back in the water but the birds are not doing much out here so we are just gonna sit on the rocks here and chill out and enjoy nature and enjoy some wildlife looking at the birds and hopefully pretty soon we'll see some action and even if we don't we'll just rest a little bit from casting and reeling in so often so that way when we get that hit we'll be able to fight that fish and bring them in so I'm speaking positively here but hubby and I are just here chilling on the rock hey say hi good morning. <laughs> he said good morning it was an early morning guys we got up at 4 a.m. and when I wake up in the morning oh the sun's coming up back behind me that's our bikes back there but um, when I wake up in the morning, for me to be up, so that right there is um, the environmental police. And they do their rounds and they check for a license and they check if you have a cooler, a bucket, whatever you have, even the attack a box, they, um, they check it or they can check it just to make sure you're following the rules and you're not breaking any laws. So any vehicle you see go by on this canal road, besides a bike, then you know it's the um, EP doing their, doing their patrol. But yeah, I was saying when I wake up in the morning, for me to be up and about, I have to shower. So whether it's three in the morning even though I shower before I go to bed I have to get in the shower again so I can actually wake up and this started years and years ago when I was having kids and I worked nights I would have to shower to wake up or not shower in the morning when I come home but I can go to bed and get some rest before I wake up again so got up this morning 4 a.m. I jumped in the shower um, we hit the road at 5 a.m. Got here by 6 o'clock. Almost 6. Like 10 off 6. The traffic was really good. It was chilly. It still is. It was 61 degrees this morning. On our way down here. And um, it's still chilly. We're on the water here. And it's a little windy. So I still have my sweater on. But we're just here enjoying the views looking at the boats going by the ferries this morning we saw um a couple seals and i was trying to get it get footage of it but i didn't and that's because when i saw the seal fishing down here i was still looking there waiting with my camera to get the footage and next thing you know someone caught a fish over there and when he caught the fish i was like distracted so i'm like watching the guy not filming him catching the fish but just watching him to see the size of his fish and lo and behold y'all the seal went that way and he hooked up on the seal so i didn't catch that on camera but i just realized that i won't be getting any footage of the seal 
because it had already gone on and feeding on baked so yeah that's the story of the seal for today a couple months ago there was a whale in the canal so there was no fishing they closed it off to all fishing and vessels I believe if I'm correct that's what I read because I follow the news certain things that I'm involved in and the lifestyle I'm living I follow that type of news so I can stay abreast of what's going on and so it was closed off here so we weren't able to do a whole lot of fishing earlier but we're here now and we're gonna stock up um, we're gonna be here a lot because the season's gonna be getting cooler and cooler so it's not that hot down here and it's on the water so it you know it'll be more comfortable for us to be out here more often yep I can sit here all day and just watch the water flow watch the boats go by and the birds you know doing their thing getting feed in the, from the water you know flying up and diving down getting a beak full swallowing it going up going down again look at it over there oh I didn't get that one you see them birds all the way over there we have a boat going by so it's gonna get noisy really noisy such beautiful peaceful scenery down here I love coming down here in the summertime sometimes in the fall if the fall is mild but it's really tough being out here near the water in New England I'm telling you when it's windy in the fall and it's cooler but if there's fish to catch we'll be down here catching fish <laughs> Truth is, I want a nap. I'm cold. And I need a nap. I want my bed. I went to bed late because I was up canning peppers and, and pickled cucumbers and zucchinis. And what else did I can? Oh, grape leaves. I canned a bunch last night because I needed to. I'll probably can some more again tomorrow or maybe tonight. Uh, we'll see what happens. But there's so much to can. I don't want to get into canning right now but because it's about fishing. But ain't nothing going on over here. So we're just chilling. And ever so often I get up and I cast my line out and reel it in cast it out probably like about five times and reel it in probably sitting on that rock over there chilling he's cold too because <laughs> the sun hasn't come up over on this side as yet it's trying to come up over the hill as you can see but um we're down here still no on my right still nobody two hubbies left there everybody left and they're probably gonna come back out this afternoon but but when we take this drive down here we usually spend the entire day um, if we need to we just go to the car and relax a little bit 
and come right back out but we usually spend the entire day probably about eight hours because it is not just for fishing purposes but it's relaxing we can take a walk on the canal road or we can take a ride on our bicycles and whatever it is we enjoy this area down here we make it worth it we make our drive down here worth it so we're just down here relaxing I'm waiting to see some bird action that will be nice and even if I see action far off we can take our bikes and ride towards that location which is a good thing about having our canal bikes but man we need we need electric bikes I'm not even playing we do because I'm not down here to exercise I can get my exercise elsewhere and I can exercise for the purpose of exercising when I do exercise because <laughs> I'm telling you riding pedaling all the way man and we went we were fast like we rode for a mile to that spot where we saw the birds feeding and it was quick it was quick I'm telling you when I was done I'm trying to go down the rocks and my my legs were jello my legs were jello my chest was burning me because my heart is pounding the adrenaline rush and all that stuff so I'm like uh-uh get me an electric bike and we'll scoot on over there and save that energy to fight that fish when we hook up I mean it totally makes sense for being on a canal but when it comes to exercising I'll exercise for the purpose of exercising so I'll leave that for her for that time it's gonna be like 84 degrees today with a little wind which is good so it's a really beautiful 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 day we still have a ways to wait to see if anything's going on when the tide changes because we do also follow the tide chart and um, it's about 9 50 right now so we've been already down here for four hours But um, I just need a nap, that's all. Wait. I thought I saw a splash. <laughs> I was getting ready. I saw a splash and I looked up and I saw a bird. So I'm like, okay, what's that bird seeing? Look, there's... See right there, that little white speck? Let me zoom in. The sun needs to come out. <clears throat> so... I won't feel this lazy and lethargic because I ate, I had my tea, and um, I just want to be cozy for a little bit, even if it's in the car. But as soon as I see a blitz or some bird action, I'm paying attention, looking all around. As soon as I see some bird action, I'm just about getting ready to head over to where that location is because it's going to happen at some point. It's not a matter of if, it's when. But yeah, just checking in again. But we outside. We outside, baby, right? We outside. <laughs> what kind of sign is that? Oh my gosh. You seeing them birds? I hope you're paying attention because cause you will you'll pick your head up out of that phone and guess what? You will see me pedaling going down there. Yeah, right. <laughs> I lied. He's faster than I am, so. <laughs> but I have to. I need. Listen, I need to put my cash app up so you guys can send me. You guys can help me out because I am. I am. It's not no if, ands, or but. I'm gonna find and I know which one I want but I've seen them and they're very comfortable and because I'm a lady I want something that's comfortable I want something that will work for me with a little basket to the front and a little basket to the back so I can hold my rod I can put my phone in the phone holder I can put my tea mug in the tea mug holder so I know exactly what I already want so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put my cash app back on my page on my about page so feel free feel free because um your girl needs a little help over here guys the birds are already starting to get 
active and we can see down the shoreline people are starting to cast out again but we're paying attention they were just sitting on the on the rocks relaxing so we're paying attention to what they're doing because once the bait fish start coming in these boats have very good eyes and that's how they feed that's how they get food gather food to bring back to the young ones and so we're we're being opportunists and sit around since it's slow and just watch their behavior and see what they're doing so then we can take action once they start in a frenzy. I think I'm gonna start casting out again. And I'll keep you posted. So we hung out for about another hour and we weren't successful in catching any fish today. However, we were able to enjoy the scenery for a few hours and enjoy some peaceful outdoor time. But remember, every day might be fishing day, but every day may not be catching day. I hope you enjoy.